फाइव सेकेंड टू सेकेंड रेडी सर आई सपोर्ट द डिमांड्स फॉर ग्रांट्स प्रेजेंटेड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड आई वुड लाइक टू सबमिट वन थिंग इन दिस रिगार्ड आवर कंट्री इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी एन एग्रीकल्चरल कंट्री वेयर अबाउट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल पॉपुलेशन इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन एट एंड इट इज ऑल्सो द मेन ऑक्यूपेशन ऑफ द पीपल इन रूरल एरियाज इट इज ट्रू दैट द कंट्री हैज मेड कंसिडेबल डेवलपमेंट इन दिस फील्ड आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस बट स्टिल इट इज इसेंशियल टू ब्रिंग अबाउट फर्दर मोडिफिकेशन इन दिस फील्ड बिकॉज With the constant increase in the population, our dependence on agriculture is also increasing, and it has become a matter of great concern. We have to find out a way to reduce this dependence. About Two years back, some states of our country, like Gujarat, some parts of Andhra Pradesh and Rajasthan, were hit by one of the most severe droughts after independence. But the government, under the worthy leadership of Sri Rajiv Gandhi, readily met the challenge and did not let. other parts of the country face any problem due to drought the ministry deserves to be congratulated for facing the challenge with all its might two types of methods are adopted for cultivation in our country one is the intensive cultivation and the other is the extensive cultivation the population is increasing at a tremendous speed whereas the holdings are shrinking so it has become essential to emphasize the need for intensive cultivation what is needed is to raise the yield of per bigha of land agriculture depends on various other factors a farmer cannot reap a good harvest unless power supply and irrigation facilities are available to him so far as irrigation is concerned a few dams and canals have been constructed and pumping sets have been installed to fulfill the purpose of irrigation but about the big canals the general complaint is that the farmers do not get the water for irrigation in time though in kanpur district canals have been constructed and pump sets have been installed but the water supply does not reach the fields at the tail end and the farmers suffer as a result thereof i would like the central government to hold consultation with the state governments and make certain arrangements so that water reaches the tail end of the fields where the facilities of canals pump sets etc are already there there is a common complaint that the farmers do not get remunerating price for their produce the agriculture prices are fixed every year by the agricultural prices commission but the 
गवर्नमेंट शुड इवेलुएट द क्राइटेरिया ऑफ फिक्सिंग एग्रीकल्चरल प्राइसेस दीज क्राइटेरिया शुड बी फर्दर मॉडिफाइड इन आर्डर टू इनेबल द फार्मर्स टू सेल दियर प्रोड्यूज एट अ रेमरेटिव प्राइस इवन टूडे द मेन ग्रीवियंस ऑफ द फार्मर्स इज दैट दे डू नाट गेट अ प्राइस फॉर दियर प्रोड्यूज विच इज proportionate to the costs and the hard work they do so the government should pay attention to this also the knowledge of the techniques of agriculture is increasing in our country very rapidly the agricultural universities set up by the government are conducting research in the field of agriculture and are making use of that research in the fields but it appears that this knowledge is used in some limited areas only therefore a comprehensive program should be chugged out so that the benefits of this knowledge could be made available at all i therefore urge the government to formulate schemes in such a way that our farmers could get the benefits of our scientific progress to increase agricultural production the government is aware that the farmers have to face the natural calamities of flood and drought every year relief is provided by the government at the time of flood but lakhs of acres of agricultural land is rendered unfit for cultivation due to floods there is no doubt that agricultural yield increases following the flood but the farmers have to face heavy losses prior to it therefore arrangements should be made to check the recurring feature of floods in the flood prone areas the calamities like flood and drought can only be prevented by formulating programs of permanent nature in our country agriculture mostly depends on weather conditions if the weather conditions remain favorable the crops are good but in the event of excess or deficient rainfall or if the crop is hit by hail storm huge damage is caused and in that case we curse the nature and say that everything has been destroyed due to bad weather therefore the government must think in terms of finding preventive measures to protect agriculture from the havoc of natural calamities the government has introduced crop insurance scheme for the farmers but its benefits do not reach the farmers arrangements should be made to ensure that farmers get its full benefits the crops should be insured in every part of the country to ensure that its benefits reach every farmer all over the country each one should be covered under this scheme